Sheffield is one of the biggest cities in Britain and uh, yeah, a city which won't have a derby in the top tier of football this season or next season because of where the teams are. And I've just been filming a video today at Sheffield FC, but right now, as you can see here, look, I am at the home of the Blades, Sheffield United, Bramall Lane. Yes, this video is all about Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. I'll be exploring both stadiums, giving you a few facts about the derby itself and uh, yeah, a little bit about both teams as well. Please do remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you new share with another Sheffield football fan and uh, yeah let's get into it all around Bramwell Lane they've made it easy for me I'll be taking to taking you to a few more of these but these little signs basically tell you a little bit about the club so in 1855 Bramwell Lane opens as a cricket ground for the first time but yeah today as you can see it's definitely not a cricket ground but next up Look at that, the next one, Bramwell Lane stages the first, its first football game between Sheffield FC and Hallam. Uh, Sheffield FC have literally just been filming at the oldest club in the world. And uh, yeah, this was where the first ever game at Bramwell Lane was held, of course. First ever game between, though, Sheffield FC and Hallam. Next up, Bramwell Lane stages the first, the world's first football cup final, the Uden Cup won by Hallam FC. Again, the origins of football, eh? Here at Bramwell Lane, the first ever couple of clubs, the first ever trophy, that was the Uden Cup. That is unreal. Now in 1878, Bramwell Lane stages the world's first ever floodlit game of football. I have heard uh, different information, you hear different things, don't you? I thought it was Hibs, maybe Hibs were the first in Scotland. I've also heard that St Mirren as well were one which had early floodlights, but yeah, there you go. And yeah, look at this one now. So 1889, Sheffield United were formed and Bramwell Lane stages the first lawn tennis tournament. All those things up there that I uh, took you to about Sheffield FC and uh, the floodlights and the cricket and stuff. It wasn't until 1889 though that Sheffield United were formed, as you can see from the badge. 1901, the world famous Archibald Leach, the uh, famous football stadium architect, um, created the John Street Standard landmark in football opens. Bramall Lane becomes the first English stadium to have its own floodlights in 1954. And in 1973, Bramall Lane hosts its last game of cricket on August the 7th between Yorkshire and Lancashire. Of course, this is called the Steel City Derby because of uh, the yeah industrialness of Sheffield from back in the day. It used to be a very, um, very key city for uh, steel making, of course, and cutlery and knives and stuff like that. Hence, why uh, Sheffield United are called the Blades. But here is a statue of Derek Dooley, MB Sheffield United Football Club, former chairman of the club, one of the Steel City's greatest sons. There's a statue of him here, and there is also a statue over here as well. This is Joe Shaw, 714 appearances, and it says there in quotes, a true legend of the, of the lane, and uh, of Bramwell Lane, that is, of course, the stadium here. And here's the record appearance holder for Sheffield United. The scores are incredibly even, over 144 games. The scores are 49 to Sheffield United, 48 to Sheffield Wednesday, with 47 draws. And the aggregate score is 179 to 170 to Sheffield United, the team here. And look, what a lovely stadium on a day like today. Bramwell Lane, take a bow. Really modern, especially this front looking section here, forged in steel up there. All right, let's go across, head north to their city rivals, Sheffield Wednesday. So I'm going to have to come back and do some proper in-depth videos on Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. This is just a quick stop to uh, investigate both. And uh, yeah, I'm now at Hillsborough Stadium. Um, somewhere for me, I've never been, but I'm a Liverpool supporter. So yeah, to be here is emotional. And uh, even look, you can see up here that the sign still says Spion Cop or Spion Cop. 
depending on where you're from, but yeah, Spying Cop. To uh, remember the 96 fans who died here at the stadium, which is uh, probably more famous around the world for the disaster that happened here than for anything football related. But yeah, an absolute, obviously sad, sad thing to have happened here, but it did um, help improve like stadium safety around England and the UK and stuff. So yeah, obviously can't come to Hillsborough Stadium and not mention the 96. So this is for you and for the families of the 96. But a couple of facts about Sheffield Wednesday quickly. I'm gonna ask if I can go in, I asked the groundsman. He said to come and ask down here, but yeah, while I just have a look around and uh, get some more shots as well, I hope you are enjoying the shots. Please do remember to hit that like button. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you a couple quick facts about Sheffield Wednesday. Why are they called Sheffield Wednesday? It's a strange name, isn't it? Well, it is because when the original club were formed, Wednesday was the only day that the teams could play on, or Wednesday was the only day, day that whoever picked the, the team wasn't working so he picked the team or something like that anyway yeah, it was to do with the old workers of the old Sheffield Wednesday from way back in the day and uh, yeah it was obviously a works team and um, yeah it was Wednesdays that they played on or Wednesdays that the teams got picked anyway and they're also called the owls look here you go you can see on their badge an owl that is because they moved from well, I think they've had a couple of moves but they are now near an area of Sheffield called Owlerton Hence the name, the Owls. Look at that, you can see the pitch through there. Wonderfully sunny day here in Sheffield. And uh, yeah, amazing to be here at Hillsborough and to um, yeah investigate the two teams. Let's go and ask in reception if I can go in. And look at this, look. The river running underneath this little bridge. And then here is the front of Sheffield Wednesday. Please, stadium gods, be kind. Any chance that I can look around the stadium to do, uh, at all today? No. Just really quickly to get a few pictures. Nothing we can do. Okay, no worries, thought I'd ask. Why stadium gods? Why do you have to do this to me? Nah, fair play. The um the security man said I couldn't come in. Um he said to contact the media team. I do that at every single club and you know, a lot of them don't get back to you, especially the big ones like this. That's why I love the Sheffield FCs and the Marines and the Chorleys and stuff like that. They're so much more accessible. Yeah, Sheffield Wednesday, if there is anybody watching, please invite me down. I'd love to come in and have a proper look around. Um, but yeah, today I have been exploring Bramall Lane, the home of Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. And also earlier on today, I was at the home of Sheffield FC. I went right inside, right into the heart of Sheffield FC. By the time this video comes out, Sheffield FC should already be out. Out. so I'll leave a thumbnail to it somewhere and you can uh, go and watch that I'll also link it down below as well and make it nice and easy for you two fairly sizable stadiums between the two of them Bramwell Lane just a bit smaller than um, Hillsborough here Hillsborough about 34,000 people whereas Bramwell Lane's about 32 so yeah a huge city Sheffield and uh, one where I think it should be a Premier League rivalry Sheffield United the rivals of Wednesday here um, have won all four divisions along with three other clubs. Can you name them in the comments below? Between them, they have seven FA Cups with four going to United and three going to Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday have also won the league four times, the second division about five times, and uh, yeah, a whole host of other trophies. They've won the League Cup as well, the Community Shield. And uh, yeah, both clubs are hugely, hugely prestigious. Do let me know if you'd like me to come back here one day. Look at that, what a lovely day for it today. Again, I've had so much good weather lately. Please do remember to hit that like button. Drop me a comment below if you want me to do another one of these Derby videos. This was just a flying stop at these two. Um, just to experience Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United. I love exploring new stadiums, as you know. Yeah, let me know below if there's any other cities you want me to cover. If there's any other teams you want me to go to specifically specifically even if it's one of these two even if it's another club a club that you support in the north of england let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to get there smash that like button please please it really helps and share with another sheffield football fan a wednesday fan or a united fan or even a sheffield fc fan the non-league team or a hallam fan there's loads of football fans in sheffield i'm sure please do subscribe as well i'd really really appreciate it i'll leave some videos around my head as ever so you can keep watching my content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one